Well, it's back to square one for supporters of an effort to lessen restrictions on abortion in Arkansas. Five News reporter Lauren Spencer joining us now, breaking down what went wrong today. Lauren? Yeah, Darren, less than a week ago, the group Arkansans for Limited Government submitted more than 100,000 signatures to be checked by the Secretary of State. But the Secretary of State says it wasn't about how many signatures they collected, but rather who collected them. I spoke with the group who says today was a frustrating day, while others are calling this a victory. We feel a bit dismayed and uh, disappointed and in some sense appalled uh, that that this process is uh, potentially being weaponized um, to make a political move against us. Jenny Diaz with Arkansans for Unlimited Government says a week ago they weren't even sure they were going to get enough signatures for their ballot initiative. Because of this incredible display of energy and action and resiliency from um, our volunteers, but also from Arkansas voters who decided to show up to sign, even if it was the very last day. It was absolutely tremendous. The Secretary of State's office says how they collected the signatures was not done correctly. The group reportedly did not turn in a document that identified paid petition workers versus volunteers or turn in a signed statement indicating the group's organizers had signed the state's referendum handbook. Diaz says it hurts, but they weren't necessarily surprised. And that is because this issue is so contentious and because the Arkansas state government has done everything within their power to uh, to ban abortion um, and to restrict access. We received multiple responses from various groups and leaders fighting against the amendment, calling this a win for the state. Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders said in response on X, today the far left prohibition crowd in Arkansas showed they are both immoral and incompetent. And the Family Council Action Committee said in a statement part, quote, the amendment did not include any medical licensing or health and safety standards for abortion. Those are fatal flaws, and I'm confident Arkansans would have rejected the amendment if it made it to the ballot. So what's next for the group? We are working to, um, to find a way to appeal that. We have seen time and time again that this is very much wanted, uh, a wanted policy from the Arkansans we've engaged with. Um, which goes along with our, our polling that show that the majority of Arkansans believe abortion should be accessible in some circumstances. Diaz said they're planning to not back down and they'll do everything in their power to make sure the signatures are counted and that they'll be placed on the November ballot. Lauren Spencer, 5 News.